something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? We are looking at President Trump. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you, from what we can see right here, it looks like they are attempting to move him out that he may have been injured. He is holding up his arm. He is pumping his fist, but clearly Secret Service wants to get him out of this situation. I think they hit him because the guy is, it looks bad. Why we need fucking Trump here? Oh, the fucking Secret Service don't fuck around, man. You know, like, Holy shit! Yeah, look, no, they're undercover. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh.
Oh. Is that is there a, a shooting? Oh my gosh. standing there you know we're pointing we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof and he had a gun right he had a rifle the right we can clearly see him with a rifle absolutely um we're pointing at him the police are down there running around on the ground we're like hey man there's a guy on the roof with a rifle and the police were like huh what you know like like they didn't know what was going on you know we're like hey right here on the roof we can see him from right here we see him you know he's he's crawling and Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're almost certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. 100%. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police from the Secret Service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way that the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service just, blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. That's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You can see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I No, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. You no, know, I mean, it was, a, it was a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but, sure. but it, was, it right. was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. All I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with, anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Not to the yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security perimeter. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building? Here. Well, there's a whole bunch of questions I think that are going to come. There's a U.S. Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle must resign. She was warned about this. She ignored the warnings. And then he doubles down. I want to repeat and can absolutely confirm the U.S. Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle has repeatedly turned down requests for a larger security footprint around President Trump, despite knowing the threat level is catastrophic. Resign tonight. This dovetails somewhat with the reporting from the Federalist Sean Davis, who said... Requests had been made by the Trump campaign to increase security and that DHS, which oversees Secret Service, had refused. Dan Bongino saying it was the Secret Service director herself, Kim Cheadle, who said no. Um, where was she tonight? And what was her role in saying no to additional security for the most threatened man in America? To remind our audience, tonight in but. But in Butler, Pennsylvania, the former president of the United States was the attempted target, was the target of an attempted assassination. The bullet grazed his ear inches, if not centimeters away. People in our country that shouldn't be here, dangerous people, criminals. We have criminals. We have drug dealers. We have people that should not be here. 
and it's much tougher than if it happened the you know we had the strongest border ever in recorded history we had the best border in fact if they could ever put up a chart i don't know if they We're following up on those. I will tell you that I am aware of those, and uh, and I am aware that uh, law enforcement had responded to a number of reports of suspicious activity. Um, the specific response to this will be all part of the after action. But yes, law enforcement was responding uh, to check on several suspicious occurrences. And you know that's a little bit old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Thomas Crooks. <laughs> Haley Madison Rapali. You gotta love this. Oh boy. It's coming. They messed up. They can't stop it now. Trains full steam ahead. <laughs> 2024. Trump, baby. <laughs> Sound good, don't it? Mm-hmm. Got a nice ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> 